What's going on guys? Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. Carlos here with Serrano's Mobile Detail in Dallas, Texas. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. Uh, due to some technical difficulties, my microphone wasn't on, <laughs> so we're redoing the intro again. Um, but we are with Gion, guys. Today I'm super excited, one, because I get to try some new products, some products that I've never used. Mm -hmm. um, when it comes to Gion, really for me, I've only used wet coat. And you guys know why? Because the bottle is orange, so that's why I bought it. Um, but today we're going to be using some two new products that I've never used, like I said. Um, and I'm excited to really kind of see it in action um, and hopefully get some answers to a lot of questions that you guys might have on the product. So what I have on my hand is Clearview. Um, and one thing I do like about this bottle that I kind of noted on a previous video is presentation. Uh, when it comes for Gion products, um, Presentation is key. Yep. Every time you see a Gion product, I feel like premium. Yeah. Uh, premium quality products. Um, to some, you guys might say like, that's expensive. Um, but really, I think the pricing is very fair on a lot of the things. Obviously, just know that the higher you go, I guess, in products, the higher mm -hmm. the cost it's gonna be. Um, what's a couple of things about this one? Yeah, so this product is actually called Glass. It's gonna give you the clear view. Oh. But <laughs> no, super, super, super okay. There's a bunch of words on here. Um, streak free. That's the name of the game with glass cleaners, right? Okay. Safe to use on all sorts of glass, coated glass it's safe on, inside, outside. You know, there's some techniques with it that we can show you guys. And it's just going to be the straightforward glass cleaner. What you want. We'll get the results of what you want. Straightforward, quick, easy. And it, it'll, it'll pick stuff off. You know, it's not like sometimes the glass cleaner is too light mm -hmm. where it's okay, it's streak free, but it's not cleaning. You so you to gotta go have back. the balance. Yeah, yeah, you gotta have the balance of it. And this product does a great see job that. of that. A couple sprays, yep. and then I came back with like a nice towel and just like cleaned off right. the smudges and the oils. Exactly. Um, I did it with some kids in the back seat, and they mm. had like their fingerprints. Oh, yeah. And then I was like, let me try this product and sprayed it. Not too heavy, mm -hmm. but and it got it done like in the yeah. first wipes. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, that was for really sure. cool. Um, yeah, and we're gonna use this one to prep the glass before we move on to that one. Quick okay. Um, and then the next product we're also gonna be talking about is. Uh, quick view yep. this is their um, glass coating yep um, what's the I guess uh, durability on this one up six months six months yep so if you're looking for something that's like quick um, like a quick um, add-on yeah package kind of like a bonus product yeah you just want to do say you know you have a customer that says okay you can add on a windshield pack like a little bonus to a package they already have mm -hmm. and you know it's it's in the name it's quick it's you get it done, efficiency, you know, time is money. So that's the main thing with this. It's all built in one thing, super easy to use. The results are great as we'll see later. How's the uh, water behavior? I know a lot it's, of people like beading and they yeah. like it crazy. Yeah, no, it'll get that. You'll get crazy beads, nice trails off it. It'll be quick, real that's quick. That's awesome. Yeah, this one like, so like your windshield coatings, like they're not gonna work at like 10 miles per hour, but 30 miles an hour, you don't need wipers or anything. It It'll just, just, fly it just off. comes off. Easier to see in bad weather conditions. Awesome. So we're going to get all set up, guys, and we're going to bring you guys uh, closer to this glass here so you guys can see a little bit on how Gion applies this product. For those who have been wondering, how do you apply it? Guess what? We're going to find that out today. I get to personally see it hands-on, and that way I don't mess up for any future installation. So <laughs> we're going to get set up, and we'll bring you guys back in. All right. It's now time to coat this glass um so he's gonna kind of guide me through the process and hopefully i do it right for this process we're gonna <laughs> be using um q2m glass yep and we're also gonna be using obviously the glass coating uh and for our towels we're gonna be using you guys are seeing me laughing but it's called bald wipe <laughs> these are um low pile yep um with like these are gonna work really really well um so the first thing we're gonna do is spray our glass. Was that too much or is that No, good? that's plenty, yeah. Okay. That's good enough. Yeah, I mean right. a little goes a long way with this product. Um, but I mean we'll see how it go ahead and go ahead and wipe and see how it goes. Pairing it with this uh, towel, I will say you can feel like some nice like like grabbiness. Yep. Yep. Yeah, because I mean, bare, bare glass is, it grabs, you know? Yeah. So you want to get it down to that point so that the ceramic coating is sticking right to the glass. And this part is crucial, guys, because prepping is key. Yep. Um, some people will tend to clay the glass, others will polish the glass. Yep. And then you will 
uh, coat the glass. For this scenario, guys, we have it nice and ready for you guys. We've cleaned the glass and now we're going to apply uh, the coating. Yep. So pretty much from what I was advised is you're gonna give it a couple, like three squeezes and then you'll see the product coming out of the tube. Mm -hmm. um, we've already primed pretty much the pad, uh, so I don't wanna induce just too much liquid because I'm assuming that would be not good. Yep. Um, so we'll go ahead and applying it. Do you have to do this in like... Uh, we recommend circular motions. Um, you could do, we're just gonna do half for this video, but you can do you know the whole windshield if you really want to. Really? So it's gonna sit on the surface for, you know, we recommend at least like 10 minutes or so. Um, but you can go ahead and go in circular motions there and you can see it going on. So really with those three uh, pushes from the tube, yeah. that's like... It's enough. That's more than enough. Yep. Does this like flash or anything or... So, I mean, you can kind of see it drying up, but you want to leave it on there for, for like 10, 15 minutes. Okay, yep. so just let the product dwell. Let the product sit on there, yep. So there's definitely an odor on there of mm. like coating. Yep. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a real coating going on that surface. Like you said, to get six months, it's gotta be, it's gotta have a significant amount of product on there. And you have a little booklet, guys. So for those who would like to read and this is kind of like <laughs> the warnings, right? Yeah. I think that's yeah, what it is. Yeah, we have all the warnings and safety measures with our products. Make we have sure a QR you code it. on there in case you don't like to read and wanted to see a video on how to apply it. That's also on the products too. That's that's pretty cool um, how you guys have just the overall presentation. Yep. Uh, and a couple of things I see right off the bat, like here in the top, I do like, it says quick and easy application, repels water and dirt effectively, increases safety in harsh road conditions. So yep. I do like, that's one of the things when I did see it, I was like, that's cool because it's like, Right it's there. Right there, right you, there. it just tells you. Um, but so far, application has been pretty, pretty easy. Yep. Um, and we said this lasts uh, six months. Yep, up to six months with this guy. If somebody wants to upgrade to a more aggressive coating, yep. which, what would be their next? Um, yeah, the next step is gonna be Gion View. So Gion this view. is Quick View, we have Gion View, which is gonna be more of your standard ceramic, ceramic coating. coating. Yeah, that one has, a, it's a two-step process. There's a product called Cleanse that actually has abrasives in it. So that's, you're doing more cleaning. It's gonna okay. be a little bit longer to do, and that's gonna actually clean the glass more aggressively than just using glass cleaner itself. Okay. But because of that, and you're putting a real, like, true ceramic coating on it, you're gonna get, you know, over a year out of that one. Over a year, so. Yep. This is perfect for a lot of you guys that are maybe, I'm gonna say in, in, installer friendly. Mm -hmm. It's perfect for a lot of us detailers who, maybe you're, you just started your business and you wanna get into maybe this type of scenario of add-ons. I know a lot of people love <coughs> selling stuff. So I think one of the positive things about this product is it's very user friendly. Yep. Uh, yeah, for I, sure. didn't, I didn't have to kind of overthink it. Yep. It's more of just put it to the glass and circular motions and just wait 10 to 15 minutes. Yep. Wipe it off and That's you're it. good. That's all it takes. That's crazy. So yep. perfect, perfect product for a lot of us detailers. Um, how about in the sun? It, can I apply I, this? We don't, uh, we don't recommend applying in so the sun at all. It's more of a, in, like inside yeah, your garage. Ideally, and, ideally shade. And you know, when you're talking about that, it's not necessarily because of the sun, it's because the temperature mm -hmm. of it's the glass, glass or hot. the paint. So, you know, if it's colder out, you know, feel the glass. See, if it's obviously too out to touch, no way. If it's slightly warm, you know, we don't recommend it, but you could probably get away with it. Uh, but to get best results out of the product, Bring it shade, inside. cooler temperatures, you know, room temp. Um, I don't think we can apply this below about 50 degrees. That's like the, the low end. Um, but it's slick. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it's there. And then it's slickness pretty, it shows up pretty quick, but we have it on the windshield for a longer time so that you can get the longevity out of it. Like literally like touching on this side, it's like, rough or hard grabby yep and it's like just touching like where the coating is it's like yeah oh you'll see the results it, later it's, it's there slick. man it's there that's crazy yep. um so just for you guys it's right now what it's doing it's like it's drying up um it's kind of like beating in a way i feel like yeah um, well, I mean, that's the instant slickness showing it's beating on itself okay you know 
uh, it is very slick so we're gonna just let this take its course for the next couple of minutes and then we'll bring you guys in for the final wipe off mm -hmm. um and then obviously kind of give you guys just my honest opinion on this product and what i thought about it but so far this is very simple to do yep um i think anybody will be able to do it so we're gonna let this coating just take its course and then we'll bring you guys back in while the glass is um taking its course we're gonna be talking about another product right we're gonna be talking about Gion wet coat that's probably one of my most favorite ones from the product line because it's an orange bottle mm -hmm. um, but I just learned something new that I was literally uh, talking to him about it and I was like actually I'm mobile and I applied this one time outside yep. which probably all my cars I uh, I work outside daily and I use this on a hot day and <laughs> it stained the car mm -hmm. and he was like no like nope <laughs> You don't want to use it on a hot day. No, you really don't. And panel temp is really important for this product. Direct sunlight is not ideal, but like we we're talking about, sometimes you don't have a choice, right? So we don't recommend doing it, but if you really want to use the product and make it happen, you can use water to lower the body, the body panel temp. So power wash it a ton, get that to cool down, spray it, rinse it immediately. You do not want it to sit on the surface at all like no time at all so it's just that like real quick also now it's not the my favorite way to apply it but uh our brand ambassador eve he's got a couple cool ways to apply this some people will actually spray it in front of the stream of a pressure washer okay so you're literally when the water from the pressure washer is hitting the surface so is the product okay because this is a spray on rinse off spray sealant so I've done it the spray method yep. uh, and then I've done it where I think uh, I've seen it showcase where like they grab like a wash mitt yep and then they'll go and kind of do you this go wipe it and, and then, then rinse, rinse it. it yep you got um, for sure but I was like, that's a lot of work so I was like, I'm just gonna yeah. spray it this so. I mean this is an easy product that's the point of this product yeah quick results easy to use so the water behavior I will say is crazy yes with this um, yep. But obviously we're gonna kind of showcase it in this scenario here mm -hmm. on this vehicle. Yep. Um, so you, we wanna wet it first. Right, so typically you're gonna use this product after you wash the car, the car is still wet. Okay. You know, you do not, do not use this on a dry, dry got panel. It. This is safe for plastic, glass, everything, but you just gotta be wet. So the panel, you can see some sheeting yep. um, in this top section here. Um, but we're gonna really see once we pour this or spray this product on, you're gonna notice a huge difference in water behavior. Yep. Um, that's crazy. It's just yeah, okay. just right there. Go ahead and hit that again to show it one more time. I'm All gonna right. spray it right after. Yeah, it's kind of flat. It's it's kind of flat. Yeah. It's kind of sheeting off there. So we're gonna just hit this real quick. That's all it takes. Go ahead and rinse it. Bam! Look at that. Now it's beating. How long is too, like right here, we're working on a controlled environment, right? Right. How long can a product kind of sit in a controlled environment? You just don't want it to dry. Okay. That's the main thing. You know, it's not necessarily like a certain amount of time. It's dependent on wind, panel temp, you know, it, it, there's the variables that would cause it to dry. And that's what makes the difference with this. Ideally, immediately you rinse okay. it off. That's ideal. But in a realistic world, it's not always possible. Yeah, okay. So that's, yeah, and I mean like, a little goes a long way with this product. We recommend, like this is the method I like doing, one panel at a time, you have control over it. You know, we don't recommend using this all the way around the car because when you're over here, it might be drying in the backside and that's not yeah. what we want. So it's, as I, really, I really like doing one panel at a time with this thing. And when you rinse it off, do you rinse from top to bottom or do you like take it from, I've seen some will go like from bottom to top so, and kind of activate yeah, it. Yeah, so what you can do is you can actually shoot up the panel okay. and that's gonna activate it and leave it on the surface. Whereas up here, you're rinsing you it immediately down. off. Okay. And like the, the, you know, the properties of this product really show right when the water hits. It's not like it, if it sits on the panel for a half second longer, it's gonna get better, better. results but that allows you to kind of like spread, spread okay, the products spread a little product. bit more. Yep, okay. yeah, so you get a little bit more out of your actual application in that circumstance. Awesome, awesome. That's yeah. really cool. That's, yeah, I that's mean, it's, it's one of my personal favorites. Man. Yeah. And I like think, for maintenance, like doing a maintenance wash, just, quick. yeah, you can do it on, I coating, like coating toppers, this is it. This is it for me, man. Quick, do a whole car in like two minutes, you know? And you're done. And that's it. 
and there's slickness. I think with this one, I've seen some slickness yep. uh, upon the drying stage. Yep. You can feel it like gliding. Yeah, it'll add a tiny bit of gloss. So we don't typically recommend this on a matte or a satin finish, um, only a glossy car. But the main thing is the water characteristics. It's super easy. I mean, it's it's the fastest way to get those water beating characteristics. So awesome. Yeah. Well, shoot. There you go. That's 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 wet coat for you guys. Yep. So uh, we're gonna go back to the glass and we're gonna remove this coating and I'm gonna give you guys my honest feedback on it. Cool. All right, we've talked about wet coat. We're back to the glass. It's now time to remove uh, this glass coating um, and then we're gonna let it kind of sit a little bit and then I wanna show you guys the water behavior so that you guys can see um, how it performs, right? Uh, but before we do that, we wanna make sure we remove the coating sure. safely. Um, and obviously, we're gonna learn the proper way that they recommend to do it. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really crucial to always just kind of follow the instructions as it said. Yep. I know me, I'm a rebel. Um, <laughs> I don't do well with instructions, hey. um, but sometimes you might as well just try to do it how they indicated. Mm -hmm. So take it away. Yeah, so it's been on there 10 <laughs> minutes or so, 15 minutes. Uh, first wipe, we're gonna use our bald wipe again. But we're gonna do just this is just the wet, just the damp towel. So I mean, it doesn't have to be soaked, just damp. It helps just kind of remove that excess product that we no, no longer need on that surface. Okay. So I'll let you go ahead and wipe that All guy. Right. And once again, you know, there's no there's no right or wrong way. Typically, eventually you're gonna go with like circular motions to get all the the last end of it, but. And it's okay if it's still wet. Now, sometimes you don't need to, but the best way that we found is gonna follow that up with a dry towel. Okay. Yep. So it's still a two towel method. Just yeah, one it's, is it's with... gonna be the best way. You know, you can do it with just a damp towel, oh, but it might take slickness. a little bit long. You're gonna feel it right away. So at first I had, when I was using just with the damp towel, it felt kind of like back to grabby. Yep. And then like now that I'm wiping, like it now is. it's slick, yeah. Hey, you know, some a method that I really like, it's kind of like a little a little trick, is like outside, if you're cleaning or cleaning off the coating on the outside, do it maybe vertically. And okay. then if you're cleaning the inside of the glass, do it horizontally. So that if you see any smudges or anything, you know if it's on the inside or the outside. Because you wash it a different way. Oh, just a okay. It's a little trick, you know? That's, yeah, I've never really thought about that. So, <laughs> so that way you know if it's inside or it's outside. Yep, there you exactly. go. Then you can definitely feel the slickness. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, after that 10, 15 minutes, it's ready to go. There's no extra cure time on top of that. It's, it's in the name, it's quick view. Like you can, I can literally feel where it's like, where it's coated <laughs> and it's not coated. Yep. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I mean, six months, it's not, it's not hard at all. Yeah, that's very quick. And like, it's, you know, what we typically do, put it on there, 10, 15 minutes, let it do its thing. You can go ahead in another area of the car, do the interior, what else you gotta do, come back, Take it off. Would be would it be ideal to like coat like let's just say like we sell this this coating mm -hmm. is coat the glass go ahead and coat coat everything yeah. and then come back and wipe yeah. it. Yeah, I mean like by the time you get around depending on the car obviously if you're doing like a Fiat or something it's yeah. gonna be real quick but something like this you know if you take your time it'd probably be close to about time to wipe off the front once you go all the way around the back. Okay, yep. so it's not like a do one side and you gotta wait. Yeah, and then remove so it's more. And of you know this product. On the windshield, you're gonna see up six months. On windows and back, you might get possibly more because it's not gonna see the wipers, you know, moving across it. It's not gonna have direct water in like a rainstorm. You're gonna get really good longevity out of the other windows. How's it do with like bugs? Yeah, I mean, it makes it easier to clean. Okay, that's the thing. So like, it's not just the easier to see in harsh weather conditions. It's not just the water behavior. It makes any sort of stuff on your windshield easier to clean off. Awesome. And you can use that glass that we used to initially clean it as a maintenance product to clean bugs or whatever you do a road trip. And it won't diminish, obviously, no. the, the coat. Nope. Okay. Yeah. You can literally tell. Yeah. Where oh, yeah. Yeah, you can see, you can feel. You kind of see it too, like on the glass, like yep. the, the shade. What do you say we put some water on this? Yeah. All right, guys. Moment of truth. <laughs> Let's see. Oh yeah. You can see that section right there. So yeah, we clearly we did this yeah. this, this area right here. 
there might have been some other stuff that I don't know. Who knows what this car was done boat but with you before? You can see it just you like you can see it just want to get off the windshield and though. just going, Evacuate. going, going, evacuating water. That's crazy. So when you're driving down the road, you know the wind's blowing it up 30 miles an hour. It's going to exit. Is we're going to give it. the wipers. We're going to give it some wind. <laughs> see how this is. I don't use these ergo blowers, so yeah. Let's see. I'm gonna go turbo. Quick. It works. Yep. You can see it's kind of sticking around yeah. the area that we did. That's crazy. Yep. But you can feel the slickness though. Mm -hmm. This is where we coated it right here. Yep. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Six months. All right. That's that's easy. Yeah, easy peasy, man. That's the thing. It's like, like I said, put that on. You can go do something else. You got to do another part of the car. I don't know, go have a Corona or something. I don't know, whatever you want to do and then come back and take it off. Pretty That's easy. Very easy. Sweet. All right. Let's do the closing video. Ready? Alrighty, guys. So that pretty much concludes uh, today's video. Very short, very sweet for you guys mm -hmm. on the new uh, Gion uh, Quick View. This is a perfect six month uh, coating for your glass. Um, it did really well. There's definitely uh, ease of application. That's a bonus for me. Um, slickness, there was slickness there. The water behavior was there as well. Obviously it's recommended for this video. We kind of sped things up a little bit, mm -hmm. um, but it's recommended usually don't go and pressure wash your windshield right after you apply it. Let the product take its course, right? Um, so that you really get the true benefit of this product here. And obviously we also talked about their glass cleaner, which is really nice smell to it. It cleans glass really well. Um, overall products are amazing. And I can't forget about wet coat. Uh, probably one of the most used products that I have um, because of just the simplicity of it, just spray on wipe off uh, but i just learned don't do it in the hot sun <laughs> so that's kind of what i've been doing all along hey. um, but we're gonna we're gonna correct that issue mm -hmm. um, and you won't see me applying it anymore on the sun we'll be pulling the cars in uh, <laughs> but again thank you so much yeah, uh, for, sure. for the opportunity and and yeah. showcasing some of these really cool products um I'm, I'm really this one caught my attention of just how easy it was yeah man like you can get you know five it, you know if you're doing all the windows you might not get as many cars but you can do five six windshields no problem with that with just that one bottle that's crazy. What's the price on this one? So I'm not sure what Car Supplies Warehouse has it at. Okay. It's like 60 or so. We'll be posting the link. Obviously, you can buy yeah. all these products here at the Car Supplies Warehouse. Uh, so you guys make sure you click that link mm -hmm. uh, and get you a bunch of stuff while you're, while you're at the website. Get you a yep. bunch of stuff uh, because really, uh, I'm beyond humbled and blessed to have an opportunity to, to do this, especially at the big place. Uh, yeah. So very exciting. Um, again, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. As always, God bless you guys. I'll catch you guys on the next video.